Hey folks, it's Ned Pyle here to talk to you about how to get your extended security updates on Windows Server 2008 because right now you're watching this and it's either about to be out of support or it is out of support and you have chosen um, not to migrate every 2008 machine to Azure where your extended security updates are free for the next three years. So you're staying on-prem, you have servers, you have a software assurance or volume license or other type of enterprise agreement, and now you want to actually um, start using extended security updates on your on-prem machines. And so I have a quick demo right now that I'll show what this process is. And just to sort of set things up, it's pretty simple. You're starting with truing up all your licenses, um, figuring out what the cost is going to be, talking to somebody at Microsoft about giving us all your money, and then uh, getting this key, your agreement number, putting it into this Azure portal, and taking the output of that and using it to activate your update system, whether it's uh, WSOS or Config Manager or some third party, it doesn't really matter to me. The key thing is that you'll be able to get these security updates and secure your 2008 servers as best you can um, while you take your real energy and try to migrate or upgrade those devices and get yourself back into a properly supported configuration for the next decade. So if you're still running Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2, and you need some runway in order to get upgraded to get onto later platforms right now because support has ended as of January 14th, 2020 for these OSs, you have a couple options. So you can migrate those machines up into Azure and get up to three years of extended security updates. Or if you need to stay on-prem, uh, for whatever reason, physical machines, certain requirements of VMs, et cetera, and you have software assurance or enterprise agreement, you have the ability to use uh, extended security updates uh, locally as well. So let me show you real quick what this is like. You can go to the Azure portal, uh, and inside there, as long as you have the, the ability to do this based on your agreement, you can... Uh, get new max, new multi-activation keys. So you see here, I have a list of keys showing up and I'm gonna go ahead and click get key. And inside of my um, resource group, I have now the ability to specify a key name and I will go ahead and do so. Just something that I can keep track of these keys. You know, this is almost like a description. And then I could also put in a uh, agreement number. This one is obviously fake. Uh, the number of computers that I need to still keep running 2008 uh, in this case, and I can go and review and register. And that registration will then kick out for me, once it generates it, a new Mac. And that Mac is something, you know, those keys I can plug into using whatever my methodology is, plug into my on-prem VMs, physical servers, and they will get um, extended critical security updates. Not You don't get the ability to get DCRs, feature updates, anything else on 2008 at that point, but you can still continue to get whatever super critical security updates that Microsoft continues to release. Um, and you do this every year annually for up to three years, so until 2023. So I hope that demo was useful. Uh, for more information, take a look at this URL. We have an FAQ all the steps you need, all the information you need. Thanks very much.